Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to populate a parameter with a list of values from a query. Stay tuned. Okay, populating parameters from a query. Hmm, can you do that? Why would you do that? Well, I had someone ask me about it and they're like, hey Patrick, we have these parameters that we've created on our report and we allow end users to modify those parameters. Right now it's a free text box. And sometimes they type in a valid value, sometimes they don't. We wanna ensure that they always select the valid value, okay? So instead of having a free text box, can we just have a drop down? I was like, of course you can. They was like, we've been trying and trying to do this and we can't figure it out. Can you show us? I was like, of course I can. So instead of all this talking, let's head over to my laptop. So you have this report right here. And what I'd like to do is when my end users open this report, they go edit queries, they choose parameters, there's a parameter, a dialogue window pops open, there's a drop down box where they select country. Easy enough, easy enough, but how do you do it, right? So let me show you. So you click edit queries. So I'm gonna click edit queries and I wanna tie whichever parameter I create to my sales territory table. It'll automatically filter stuff um, because there's a, many to one relationship between my sales, my one to many relationship between my sales territory and my sales table. And so I wanna filter this table based on that parameter. Okay, the first thing you wanna do is create your parameter, right? So we go here, manage, click new parameter, and we'll call it country, just like that. And you can select the type, you can choose text or whatever you want. This is text, so I'm gonna choose text and then you can choose list of values if you wanna populate it with the list, but you have to type the values in. And for me, this is not very efficient because if a new value is added to that list, then guess what? I gotta come here or all the reports I use and continue to update that. Not an efficient thing, right? Or you can choose query. But if I choose query, notice it's disabled. Well, you said I can populate it from a query, I have a query that's T countries that contains a distinct list of my, not quite distinct, I'll make it distinct, but a list of my state, my countries here, why is it not enabled? Well, hover over the little information icon and it'll say, hey, you need to choose a list query. What's a list query? I thought they were all just queries where there's two types of queries. There's a table query and a list query, okay? And let me show you how to create a list query. By default, everything comes in as a table query, except if you do one thing, Man, I'll show you this, all right? So we're gonna, we're gonna just go ahead and choose any value for now and make this United States. All right, it's United States, I click okay. So that's my parameter, my parameter's created. And so I have a table right now, a list of countries, there's some duplicates, I'm gonna go ahead and remove my duplicates. And now I have a distinct list of countries and I'd like to use that to populate my parameter, right? How do you do it? Well, right now it's a table and then you can see that from the icon. So there's a parameter icon, there's a table icon, but there's also a list icon. And so if you wanna convert this table to a list, you just need to go to transform in the ribbon and then you'll see a section labeled any column and there's a little icon label convert to list. Go ahead and click that. So I click it and now notice it changes and it says list and look at the icon. The icon is now a list. So if I go back to my parameter, I choose manage parameter and then I change this from any value to query, right? And now this is enabled because T countries is a list query. And now I can use it um, a, as a source for this parameter. This is pretty cool, it's pretty cool, right? And I promise to show you another way. So we'll click okay, so that's there. But if, you, if you're the source of this particular drop down box is you have to derive it from an existing query, right? And it's only a single column that you need. So if I right click here, you'll get this option that say add as new query, okay? If you choose two columns, that option's not there, okay? It's only for a single query. So I'm gonna choose this one, right click, say add as new query, right? I'm gonna name it, I'm gonna give it L countries, right? And notice, you may, all, all, you may have noticed something already that it's automatically a list. So when you do add as new query, it automatically creates it as a list. I'm gonna remove my duplicates, right? There's my distinct list. If I want to, right? If I want to, I can convert this to a table, for, for, table but for what I'm doing, I need it to maintain, a, you know, stay as a list. And now what I can do is, I go over here, same thing, manage my parameter, 
and I could change it to, you know, my list query. They have the same, you know, results, the same values. I was just showing you, you know, multiple ways you can get to this list. Once you're done, right, I wanna use this. Uh, I wanna use this parameter to filter out my sales territory table, because that's the only, I just want the sales territory table to be populated with the value that's selected from that parameter, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and filter country out. And if you're, you know, an expert in M, you can freehand this, but I like to do it this way. So I'm gonna choose this, choose United States, click OK. And what'll happen is it adds a step into my, um, my M. And if I want to, right, I can just type freehand it right here, or I can go into the advanced editor. And so I'm gonna replace in my filter step, I'm gonna replace United States with, guess what? My parameter. So it's called country. Make sure that you use the exact same spelling with the same case sensitivity that you did when you created the parameter. IntelliSense is there to help um, if, if, if you don't quite remember. You click done and it stays populated with the United States. If I go back to L country, or I'm, I'm sorry, if I go back to my parameter, I choose manage my parameter and I change it to France, right? We're gonna change this to France. Click OK. Now watch what happens to sales territory, right? It's only showing France because it's that sales territory table based is based on that filter and that filter relies on the value from my parameter. Now watch this, right? So I'm all done. I click close and apply. I was doing some work with storage mode. So you may get to see a little uh, dialogue window pop up about storage mode. So you can, you may not see this depending on how you set it up. If you do just click okay and it'll get, it'll load everything up for me and everything is filtered down just to France because that's the value I had set when I built out the queries and the list and everything. And so now as an end user, you can come here, edit queries, you'll see edit parameters is enabled now. And then I get a list instead of free text box and I can, <laughs> text box, right? Instead of a, a text box, I get a list. I can choose United States. I click okay. And once I click okay, I choose apply changes. And now, right, everything switches over to United States. Just like that, it works. Answered the question from the customer. They were happy, I'm happy. Um, and now we move on. So. How are you guys doing this today? Have you used this approach, right? Does this work? Does this not work? Let me know, post it in the comments below. If this is your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel, you know what to do, hit that subscribe button. If you like my video, big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. <laughs> no one take on that one.